One, two, ready, and hop. going to be part one out of four for this pretty dense and somewhat complex jig called the jug of punch and I'm going to break it into quarters so um, half of each section for each video and really break it down slowly we're doing this tune in Forest Grove Fiddle Orchestra so this is mainly for those students but I figured I'd share it on YouTube anyways for everyone so We'll try to go one measure at a time here. I'll play it through just so you can see the first four measures and then I'll repeat it and break it down a little bit and show you how I would practice it. So one and two and one and two. actually eight measures. I'll just do the first four and really focus on those and then it'll probably be a long time so we'll do a second video. So one and two. Measure two. Measure three. Measure four. So we'll stick with that. Okay, I'll repeat measure one and let's sing it and then play it back and forth. Just for ease of staying with the metronome, we'll, we'll take off the pickup and we'll just start on that first low A. And sing. And play. And sing. Pick up. Dun, dun, dun. Sing it. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. 
again and play it. Okay. So I want to break down each of those measures now and just point out a couple tricky spots. And then we'll uh, practice it a little more smoothly. So now that you have an idea of the four measures, let's actually work backwards. That last measure we just did. Here. We've got a lot of thirds, which means we're skipping some notes. We've got this pattern. Here, which can really trip up your fingers if you're not expecting it. So we've got that third pattern. Let's do that a couple times. And again, F, E, again, and, again, and, no stop. how we get out of that we'll come back to that so if once that's comfortable that's a major sticking point another spot um, when I was teaching this last week is jumping from the E to the low A that where we have a finger on both strings or sorry wrong strings goes from the D string to the G string your first finger has to be ready on both strings I believe that happens in measure three here, yeah. You have to be ready with that, or you're like, oh, oops, my finger's not ready. Or your third finger tries to come in and be there um, because that's what we did in the first measure. So the reason I, I say this tune's really tricky is because there's not a lot of things that repeat exactly the same, but there are things, you know, that happen that are very similar, but they're often at different times. Even in the first and the second half of the A part, it, um, it changes a lot, even within one part. So... That's a, a good spot just to be ready with your first finger. Let's just practice that a few times. Bring your fingers up and then put your first finger down on both the G and D. Fingers up, again, go. Slower, ready, go. Fingers up and again, down. And again down and last time here we eat I recommend practicing that until it's comfortable just to be ready with it coming down at the same time as your bow so that's why I suggest lifting the finger there so let's practice it like this now and um, I think I just repeated each measure over and over again what we'll do now is we'll do all four measures but we'll stop in between Okay, and I'll just give you a little bit of a cue in between the measures so that, you know, you have a moment to think. Still no pickup for now, so we can do it with the metronome. So starting on the low A. One, two, one, and ready, go. Sorry, I was backwards. Ready, second, try for me. Measure two is A, and first finger goes, and thirds go, here, measure one low A, measure two open A. First finger two strings, and thirds measure, measure one goes, measure two goes, measure three first finger. Measure four thirds. Smaller spaces goes. Measure two. 
There we go. That's the first four measures, so the first quarter of the tune broken down and, and how I would practice that in class. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'll continue to do these videos probably once a week, um, so they take me a while. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this tune. It's one of my favorites. It's been like an earworm recently. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already and you're a fiddle player, I would love it if you would hit subscribe. I am trying to monetize my YouTube channel and getting close to about 600 followers. Woohoo! So yeah, feel free to comment again below and I will, I'm, I often answer questions. So 
Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.